Golden Gate seems like an intimidating prospect for all kinds of reasons, uh, some of which just have to do with how often it's been photographed. It's so iconic. You know, it's just beautiful. I don't know. It's almost, I mean, the, you know, the problem is it's almost too damn beautiful. You know, it's one of those things, it's like how, ugh, like, is this going to be like a big postcard I'm making, you know? And it's unusual, I think, to see a man-made object that seems so perfectly integrated into the landscape. You know, so in a way you approach it less as a kind of man-made construction and more as a natural phenomenon. So I thought that by concentrating on the large container ships and then looking at the bridge, kind of within that context, it would be a way to get at this. But you're seeing this mediation of it. This, this whole project has been shot with two video cameras, which allows us or me to make these large panoramic shots. You know, we all understood that we were kind of heading into a no man's land. We couldn't really predict that the results would work out. Can we do one more pass through the same way? And then I'll move to the stern and then we're done. Thank you. And then this amazing relationship we've been able to establish with the bar pilots who have been unbelievably generous in terms of helping us to get out to the ships. You know, things that would have been prohibitively expensive. I mean, really would have been impossible. We couldn't have done the project without them. The piece is very much designed with the understanding of where it's going to be exhibited. And because you're really, really standing underneath the Golden Gate Bridge when you witness it. But my hope is that you'll come into this darkened space in the fort and come across, come to this, you know, very kind of spectacular representation of the bridge and the traffic that passes beneath it. I mean, there's certain images that we see so often and so many times, and they are so kind of become sort of instilled into our, into our unconscious. And I think the Golden Gate is one of those things, and it doesn't disappoint. You know, it, it remains kind of magical and beautiful, and that's, that's really amazing to me.